Hey, what's up guys? It's Ultra Turbo Andre here, and I am back with another video. And today I'm going to be doing an episode review of Beyblade Burst Dynamite Battle Episode 15. Now this episode overall was a really awesome episode, and the ending of the episode gets really exciting. So, I'm going to be talking about that. Although, I will say I did have somewhat of like... A problem with this episode and I'll explain that as we like you know review it so let's just review the episode so it starts off with Basara showing off his new Beyblade Roar Bahamut to Bell in the last episode Bell created his uh, not Bell Bahar uh, Basara created his new Beyblade Roar Bahamut and at the end he showed it off to Bell and challenged him to a battle so of course uh Basara allows Bell to take his bait and study it, so he, I guess he compliments uh, Basara's new Beyblade, and, you know, he, Basara explains, like, ever since, like, he lost to Bell, he's been, you know, uh, he's been inspired by him to create his new Dynamite Beyblade, and now he wants to defeat Bell this time. So now we are getting straight into the battle. And so now we get both leaders in the stadium, and before Ronsu, you know, can announce the battle, Ra uh, Rashid walks in, and, you know, he wants to see the battle, and of course, uh, Bell, Ronsu, and Hanna are confused, but of course, Basara doesn't have a problem, problem, because Rashid is, like, the last, like, inspirational, like, I guess, subject, or inspiration that he needed, or a little bit more of a push to, you know, help, uh, Basara get his focus back and create his new Beyblade. So, with the battle starting, uh, we see, uh, Basara's new launch form, and it's really awesome. I like this launch form a lot. It is definitely better than when, uh, you know, Basara was copying Hikaru's launch style, because that was really, like, crazy. When I first saw, uh, Basara doing Hikaru's launch style, I was, like, way confused. But it's glad to see him doing a new launch style again. So of course, Roar Bahamut is left spinning bay, and Bahamut quickly takes the center. Then Bell uses one of his special moves, Venture Shoot, and Belial starts sending a barrage of attacks towards Bahamut. So after one more final attack, uh, Bahamut gets sent back because of the, its driver, the Moment Driver, it's able to bend down and it was able to get uh, straight back into the center, which surprises Bell a little bit. So quickly, Bell goes to not Bell. Uh, Belial uh, gets in like one of the upper like decks of the stadium, and then Bell uses one of his special moves, Dynamite Bomber. But see, the thing is, is that Dynamite Bomber didn't seem to have an effect as Bell as Roar Bahamut was able to go back straight into the center after it was blown away a little bit. Now, Hana and Bell notice a change where they see. Uh, Bahamut a little more rounder this time and that's actually one of the gimmicks Bahamut has that I'll explain after this battle. So Belial starts sending a barrage of attacks towards each other and then Basara powers up, he summons uh, Roar Bahamut's uh, avatar and check out his new avatar. Roar Bahamut's avatar is so cool, I really like it a lot. I, I just love like the color combination of like the like the not like I, I think it's like like a, like a cyan color, but also like the purple wings and the black skin of the dragon. It looks really awesome. And then Basara uses one of his special moves, Moment Crush, and completely bursts Belial. So this is where I had a little bit of a problem because here's the thing: is that I feel like with these brand new characters, them getting Dynamite Beyblades, it's kind of like easy to take down like other powerful bladers like for an example um Basara we didn't really see Basara train with Roar Bahamut that much this is the Roar Bahamut's first ever battle and he won I feel like Basara should have had a bit more struggles maybe he should have lost to Bell and then in time he starts training and then finally defeats Belial um kind of like with Chosey Valkyrie let's take for example or maybe Chosey Achilles uh both I get involved they had troubles um you know Controlling their new base and finally mastering it where they have to go through lots of training and lots of losses to you know finally tap into that secret power while With, with dynamite Beyblades, it feels like it's just easy easy to do that now So that's that's kind of a problem. I have is that I, I think Basara is still kind of a little bit of a newbie I wouldn't say uh, much of a newbie because we don't know how long Basara has been Beyblading for but I feel like with Powerful Beyblades like Dynamite Beyblades, I feel like he should have taken a little bit more training to, you know, 
fully master it and fully master like its power and defeat a, a really strong blader like Bell. So before we continue on with the episode review, I just want to mention that a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel. So let's fix that situation and hit the subscribe button down below because it'll help out this channel a lot and will help me keep producing more awesome content for you guys. But without a further ado, let's get right back to the episode review. So, of course, Bell is happy that he has finally defeated Bell, and he is celebrating. Of course, his sister comes and hugs him. Uh, Ronsu compliments Bell, uh, not Bell, uh, Basara, and Rashid congratulates Basara on his win too. So Hana picks up Basara's Beyblade and notices that there's been a change to um, Bahamut, and it's much more rounder. So see, its gimmick is that it's when it's like halfway through bursting or something. I think uh, that's when like there are these like four blades that'll extend out, um, powering up the defenses on Bahamut, which is a really go cool gimmick overall. So of course that's what Basara explains, and so Basara turns to Bell again and asks to battle him again. But you see Bell here. He looks a bit upset, like you can't see his eyes, like his hair's like uh, like shading off his eyes or something. And of course, Bell denies harshly, and that surprises everybody. So he kind of snaps at all of them and just walks away. So then afterwards, Ronzu challenges Basara to battle, and of course, Basara gladly accepts. So we see Bell like walking in this alleyway of you know. Of like Spain or whatever and he keeps repeating a word you know I guess something that you know uh, Basara said or something um he even he doesn't even notice like the package that's like beside him and it appears that there's supposed to be some sort of demon or like a monster it appears to be his grandpa and he tries to prank Belle by scaring him but of course Belle is unfazed and he just ignores it like it was nothing this is like kind of the thing, kind of a, like a small problem I also have with Bell. It's because um, Bell doesn't really take losses too kindly. Whenever he loses, he he uh, finds a way to like you know he creates something something new in order you know to beat that blader. Which okay, I don't have a problem. I think it's cool, but instead of like kind of like learning more from the loss, he kind of tries to come up with something that will defeat it. So more like an easy way out, which sometimes I don't really like. But it's awesome, but like, again, since I think this is where Bell is going to be creating the Devil Blade. But again, the Devil Blade is just a sharper version of the Dynamite Blade. So, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's maybe unnecessary? I don't want to do like a much harsher word, but I feel like that's kind of the right word for it. It's just, Bell does not take losses too kindly, which I think he's going to have to deal with as the season progresses. So we cut back to Basara and Ragnarok clashing, setting up rush of attacks towards each other, and Bahamut, of course, wins. See, this is also another little bit of a problem, is that, like, uh, Ronsu, who's been battling with Ragnarok, has been on somewhat of a losing streak, I'll admit. Um, I don't remember any other wins that Ronsu had other than, like, you know, a couple on Bell, but that's basically it. I feel like Ronsu maybe should have won there, but again, it's my opinion. You guys have opinions too. <laughs> Let's just get on with the episode review. Wow, I am an I'm an on a rhyming streak today. So then we see we cut back to Bell and he's trying to talk with Belial. Now I feel like Belial Belial's trying to cheer him up and nothing's working. He even turns to this balloon thing. It happened in other episodes and I did not like that. I feel like I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna say anything else. So apparently. Uh, Belial is the only, like, partner or, like, person Bell should be talking to because afterwards he realizes something and I guess it appears to cheer Bell up and, you know, that, and then we see Bell, uh, he realizes he's at the entrance of the BC Soul Place. And so he walks and he opens, like, the doors to the gym doors or whatever and he sees Vault standing in front of his stadium and then he sees Rashid there too. So here's what's happening is that Rashid is challenging Vault to a battle. So Vault pulls out his like Savior Valkyrie, and guess what Rashid pulls out? He pulls out a red version of Savior Valkyrie. And in the next episode, we are going to be getting a battle between Valkyrie and Valkyrie. As you guys can see right here in the preview, you see uh, Rashid, you know, doing some sort of attacks. You also see 
Vault and Rash is standing at each other in, in this like kind of like other not I don't want to say dimension but just, you know kind of like an aura sort of thing. It gives off God feelings. You know that final match between Shu and Vault in the finale of God. That's what it. That's the vibes it's bringing back. Bringing back and I can't wait to see this battle. It's going to be super exciting. But the problem I see is that like a lot of people are going to hate on Rashi because they think they're copying Vault. Because, like, they hate how Rash is copying Vault here. Um, instead of, like, giving Rash, like, his own Beyblade. The thing is, is that I kind of like that somebody else is, like, using Valkyrie. Because, wouldn't it be... Remember, it was... Okay, remember in God where Vault had to face off a dark version of Valkyrie? Like, of a different owner? I thought that was really cool. I, I, I want... Like, I, I highly doubt that this will happen. But in this season, I really hope that, like, you know... Louis, Free, Vault, and Shu all have like different friends of like bladers or whatever who use the same Beyblades of, as them and they have to like battle them or whatever. That would be really cool. But also, as you guys can see right here in the preview, Ration is also looking like a bit of an antagonist. I'm not gonna lie, this look kind of scares me. I won't lie about that. I feel like Rashid is going to be like a little bit of an anti-hero, maybe a good anti-hero, I don't know. It's still unknown to who the main antagonist or villain of this season is going to be. I feel like it's not going- I, I feel like there's no villain. I feel like there's just going to be a somewhat different approach to this series. Because, I mean, in- in Burst, like season one, there was no really villain. I mean, there was Louis, but he was more of like an- anti-hero he wasn't really a villain so or an antagonist he was just more of an anti-hero so that's what i feel like but i i, I personally like Rashid using a different version of valkyrie and i swear vault better i vault better win in this next battle because if he loses to like valkyrie to his own valkyrie that's just gonna suck so i think that vault is going to win next uh episode but that's, gonna, that's basically going to be it for the episode review. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys haven't enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Comment down below. And also, please, my, please share my videos so you guys can help this channel grow. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.